Um, here's what's gonna happen today. We got our bands. If you have super lightweights, I have three pounds next to me. Um, and I put them in a lot of the moves, but you don't need them. If you have an extra band, you could put an extra light resistance band around your wrist. You could do that. That totally works. Um, or nothing or your towel, but it's super, super lightweight. It's just endurance. It's not building any muscle or it's going to build a little muscle, but it's really for end endurance. Um, okay. That's it. That's it. Let's, let's go. It's been a whack ass morning over here. Two dogs is a real game changer in my life. So I've realized, <laughs> I mean, if you want to throw some spice into your life, get two. But uh, I don't need my phone. I need this. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's warm up. Let's warm up before we. Uh, um, we're gonna take a deep breath. And then big inhale and have a great workout. Squeeze that booty. Start to get your muscles in there right away. Again. But I really liked what the social worker saying, not ask why, like if your teen's suffering from stress, but how, like how can we fix this? One more. I mean, this is applying to my own life. Big arm circles back. Hi, Michelle. Hi, Allison. And arm circles forward. We had a lot of heavy shoulder work yesterday. So let's get those babies nice and warmed up. Not much in there today for the, ooh, maybe a little with those weights involved. Open up one. And hug. Separate those shoulder blades. Find length in your spine. Shoulders down your back. Let's give a big hip circle. Let's start to get these legs warmed up. Booty leg day. Jody, so good to see you. Who's popping it? Oh, hi, Shayna. There's my girl. And other way, other way, other way. Very dramatic. Grab your hammies. Oh, push forward. Grab those hip flexors. So come on, come to the party. Press out on the sides. Good job. Then hug one leg in. Hug it in. Pull it into center. Other side. So we're going to have two circuits that we repeat. Um, so first one, one more time each side. Good, and then now real quick to the back. First one, four move, we do three times, 40 seconds on, 10 seconds off. Just switch your legs, grab those hammies. Ooh. Good job, one more time each side. Then I'm gonna pause the clock and show you the four moves. Keep going, actually get your band on. If you have your band, put your band, where's my band, here's my band. <laughs> put your band on, I'm gonna have mine above my knee, you could have it below your knee for a little extra resistance. It will move throughout. Your first move, I'm going to show you the, ooh. So I have super lightweight. If you have them, you don't, it's not necessary. First one is that sideways cramp walk with the just arm hammers. Okay, that's it. I want you nice and low. Beautiful. Second one, Foxy's also been eating my workout. workout. Wrap those weights, squat, press, leg lift. That's your second move, okay? Squat, press, leg lift. Third move, you are pushing forward with the weights or the band, and you are squeezing that booty back. It's a slight diagonal back. Third, fourth move, arms go 90, and we are doing big squat out, medium squat, narrow squat up. And you're just gonna keep your hands right here. It has a little, slight pulse. Those are our first four moves. Let's go. Let's go. Here we go. I have no music playing, which is weird. Crab walk. I'll fix that in our first break. Join me. Crab walk. Hand hammer curl. Find that neutral spine. Send that booty back. Good job. Keep going. You keep hammer curl. I'm going to hammer curl over here to my music because it's dead silent in this house. Here we go. Okay. Besides my loudest voice. You got five seconds. Get low. Time. You have 10 seconds. Now we have that squat and press alternating leg lift. So rack, or you have both ba a band around your hands. You can have it right in front of you and you press up. Okay, so we're squatting and press. Squeeze that booty. Send that butt back. I have a flexed foot. That heel, my foot is pretty straight. And your heel is kind of leading the way. 
That was a wonky press. Keep going. Your booty should be lighting up right away. Navel to spine. Press the ground away. Nice, Susie. Nice, Michelle. <clears throat> pressing and pressing and pressing. Three, two, one. We are bringing those up to our shoulders. So your weight or your hands. And it's like pushing and that leg goes back. Here we go. <sighs> shoulders down. If at any time the weights are like, oh, that's too much, drop them. Just use your brain. Navel the spine, sweep that booty cake. Good job. Three, two, one. Did I lie when I said those not shoulders? Arms come up at 90. It's a baby pulse. We are stepping super wide right now. Big squat out, medium, center, up. Other side, big, medium, baby, up. Big, medium, baby, up. Big, when you hit that center and come up, you can bring your arms down for a slight rest if you need it. Those shoulders are burning. Good job, everybody. Three, two, and one. So we go back to that crab walk with those funky hammer curls. I want to start going. I'm going to just turn my body around and go the other way. In three, in two, get that booty, stick it back. Let's go. Press out. Just baby hammer curls. So maybe if you have a band around your wrist, rather than weight, you could do the, the curl at the same time. Navel to spine or a towel in your hands. But if you do have two little dumbbells, and it's amazing how heavy three pounds will become. Navel to spine or two pounds. Shoulders down your back. So we have four moves in the first circuit and five moves in the second. And we're only gonna do the second two times through. And then we come back to this time. We are racking. I'm so glad the dogs chilled out. It was a really funny morning. They are funny. Okay, we're racking. And then we're squatting, pressing side leg lifts, alternating. When you press up, I don't want a super, like you're not like leaning over, okay? You're pressing that stabilizing leg into the ground and giving yourself a side leg lift. Pressing out on those bands, feeling that medial glute, that side glute. Activate, shoulders down your back. Navel the spine. Yay, good job, good job. Okay, bringing your hands up by your shoulders. They could be in hammer or pressing flat down. It's okay, it's your call. And we are gonna send that leg back in like this. Woo. Press it out, press it out. <laughs> Squeeze the butt. It's a diagonal press out. It's not straight back. Navel to spine. Shoulders down your back. <clears throat> Good job. Neutral spine. I was looking down at my paper, not having a neutral spine. Keep going. Press it and push. Push and press. Three and one. Beautiful. We have that 90 degree pulse with our arms. Wide step out. We'll go to the right this time for the first time. Arms come up 90, three, two, and one, wide, medium, narrow, up, wide, medium, narrow, up. Squeeze your butt at the top. Mm. Mm. 
Yes. Feel that booty. <sighs> Keep going. Ooh. You got eight seconds. <sighs> Go through the belt. <sighs> Time. Good job. Crab walk, hammer curl. Last time through. Last time through. Shoulders down your back. Three, two, one. Just walk it. Press out on those bands. Lateral, nice, beautiful lateral walk. Press it out. Press it out. Oh my gosh. So my, both my dogs want to have squirrels. Like they want all the squirrels. So, but Monica is a stealth spy. She's total like Russian spy quality. Gets crouched, ready to pounce. Foxy is like a freaking nut, like running circles around me. Time. So that was our walk this morning. Now we have our front row with that diagonal. It was funny. It was really funny. Get ready. Arms come up. Press it out. That diagonal tap back. Amusing to all that saw. And then Monica like really just stops walking sometimes, just stares at everything. Garbage trucks, buses. You can give a little leg lift, rear leg lift, diagonal, add it in there. Press those arms out. Again, go back to tapping. Let's spice it up. I'm gonna do that throughout this workout. Three, two, one. We are going into that lo um, long, wide squat, medium squat, narrow squat, arms come up in a 90. Here we go. All the way up. Squeeze that booty. Pressing out on those bands the entire time. Squeeze that booty at the top. Good job, everybody. Wednesday, here you are. Here we are. Keep going. Press through it. Time. That's your first circuit. Keep that band on. Get a sip of water. Oh wait, did I miss one? Hold on. No diagonal rear. Tell me we have one more. What did I miss, guys? What did I miss? What did I miss? Oh, let's go, thank you, Rebecca! I love you! Oh, thank you for operating on all cylinders. Thank you. See, I talk too much, I get distracted. But no panic, no panic. <laughs> Stay cool and calm, relatively calm. Totally cool. Time, now. Now that's the end. We have five moves, they're going to the ground. And we will do them two times. Take a sip of water. Um, eyes on Rebecca. If I happen to mess something up. <laughs> okay, let me show you what's happening here. So, we have our weight still. We are going to be on our back for the first move. You are here for 50 seconds. Arms are out wide. You are in a hollow hole. Scoop that belly. And I would. Arms, legs go out, arms come up. Okay, that's your first move. Join me right now. Legs open, press on bands, shoulders, press, or arms come together to fly. Keep going, beautiful. If that hollow is bothering you, you can have your shoulders on the ground and legs up a little higher and open. 
I have my, now I have my arms and legs going together. Do whatever you can do. All right, they can open in opposite directions or together. That's not the most important part. Press out on those legs. Time, time. Next move, you're staying right here. I want your weights up. You're going into a bridge. Hold those weights up and you're just pressing. Press out on the band at the top. Come back down. Join me. Press up, press out on the band. Come back down. You are just holding those weights up or if you have a band around your arm, press it out. Squeeze that booty. Good job. Press out, back down. Up, out, down. Squeeze the butt. When you hit that bridge, you're not trying to get your hips up to the ceiling. You are just hitting a flat plank like body. You got eight seconds. Just holding those weight up in a static or your arms up in a static hold. Time, flip it over. We have a donkey kick on one side, but it's a long extended donkey kick. So it's out, it stays out. And I want it to come up. That's it, okay? Keep your hips square. When you feel like, ooh, hello. It's okay if your band comes up. If you're feeling the extra and you have the balance, I have a weight in my opposite hand and I'm lifting and reaching, okay? But make sure you're pressing the ground away with that one stabilizing arm and that knee. Your hips remain square. So it's not about like getting your leg up there like that. It's about feeling that contraction. Tap it down gently. This is also core work, FYI, which I'm sure you already could tell. Extend that leg, you have energy going out that leg. Reach that arm time. We are hitting the other, other side. So you have that straight leg out and you are lifting. If you wanna add that arm, you feel stable enough, have that neutral spine and extend. Keep that neutral spine. So stabilize your core. Beautiful. Good job, keep going. You have under 10 seconds. Find that length in your spine. Press the ground away. Time, last, the fifth move. You are in a high plank. I want you to hit a row, row, okay? So hit a row on each side. And then I want to tap out, tap out. Row. You could do a low plank if you want to get out of this being on your wrist. Remove the row and just do the tap outs. Stabilize those hips. Neutral spine. Tap it out. Yes, we're hitting our booty, but as always, core super involved. Keep going. Good job, keep going, keep going. Tap it out, one more time, other side, done. Beautiful, back into that hollow hold. So if the hollow hold is like, yeah, no. So let me give you that. You can come out of that hollow hold and have your arms together, open, make a star. Just have your, oh. Pressing out on those bands. I know we had a crazy core day yesterday and I just brought this back. If your neck at all feels strained, it goes down onto the mat, okay? Arms and legs open and close. If it's easier to do them open and close together, go for it. If you find that your legs are open and your arms are closed, 
No biggie. Does not matter. I was feeling strain in my neck, so I put my neck on the ground with my head. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, we're gonna put our arms straight up, and you're gonna hit that bridge, bring your feet in close to your hiney. In two, and while you hit that bridge, press into the ground to come up, press those knees out, come back down. Your arms just stay up. Beautiful, Allison. Press it out. Good job, good job, good job. Keep going. You have less than 10 seconds in this beautiful move. Squeeze that booty, press out on those legs. Two and one, we go back into our donkey. You can totally admire the way I say that, it's totally fine. Yeah, and so this band is gonna move. I want you to extend one leg and you can be right here and do straight leg lift up. Find your core, get that core totally engaged. When you feel that you're not wobble, weeble, wobble, bring that other hand up and extend it as you lift that leg. Squeezing your butt, it's not a huge lift. Good job, good job, good job. Press the ground away. Navel is fine, you might start to come unengaged. Get back in there. You got under 10, squeeze that booty. And control that leg. It's not flopping to the ground. It's a controlled landing. Time. I'm switching to the other side. Square yourself up. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Extend that one leg in the back. Get that weight in your hand if you're ready. And you press it. And extend. Really feel yourself. <sighs> Nice and slow, there's no speed here. Do not dip those hips. If you find yourself dipping those hips, adjust your knee under your hip and let that weight stay down. Just focus on your leg. Find that stability, find that butt squeeze. Do not dip your hips at all. The only thing moving is that leg. And then you can add your arm once you're stable. Time, beautiful. Get ready for that high plank row with a tap out. Okay, again, if that is too much on your wrist, you can come into low plank, eliminate the row and tap it out right here. I'm gonna give my wrist a break. I do have an actual wrist injury from 20, oh my God, 26 years ago, 27 years ago. It's good to me, but I have to treat it with me. You are breathing. Your head is neutral. You're pressing the ground away, whether you're in a high plank doing your rows or you're in a low plank tapping out. You've got 10 seconds. Two, one, let's confirm I did all those. Yes, that's end of circuit two. We are circling back. We're going to do the same four moves we did in the first. Give yourself a little love here. So we have that crab walk, hammer curl. I'm going to lower my band below my knees, just right below. I'm going to bring you guys back up. Grab those. We're doing that lateral walk. I lowered my band. Alternating hammers. Let's go. Navel to spine. 
This time, get a little lower. Come on, baby. Keep going. Take a bigger step sideways. Navel the spine. Good job, good job, good job. Three, two, one. Now we rack them. And we do the squat to the alternating press um, or alternating leg lifts. Here we go, rack your weights. A nice hip width, shoulder width apart. Press and raise those legs. Again, it's not a huge lift because the band's gonna restrict our, move, our range of motion. You press out. Squeeze that knee at the top. Good job. Time, time. We have that push and tap back. So you're pushing with your arms away and then you're tapping diagonally back. Here we go, push with the arms and then you pull the arms back. Navel the spine, tap it, diagonal tap back, okay? Not a straight tap back. Press it on those bands. Ooh, get those shoulders away from your ears as your shoulders fatigue, that's where they're going. So if they're fatiguing, you can't control that. That's when you drop a weight. Press that booty back. Two, one. We have our pulse and 90 degree arms. Wide squat, medium squat, narrow squat. Alternating each side. Here we go, bring our arms up to a 90. And then wide, let's go wide, medium. Narrow up, you can release those arms. Good. Squeeze. Good job. Good job, good job, good job. Time. We are going back to the top of the crab walk. I will say what I love circling back because that's where my brain just went to the bathrooms. Walk it and put an arm hammer is that the principal talked about having meetings with the students, which they've already had. So they have the council and meeting to find alternatives. So I thought that was really wonderful. And I was like, boys, do you want to be on that? And they were like, yeah, no. <laughs> They're like, mom, we're not like you when you were in high school, okay? <laughs> I'm like, yes, I could tell. <laughs> Beautiful time. We are racking, we are squatting. We are leg lifting. I will not forget this one again. Three, actually I shouldn't say that, two, one, squat, press, and leg lift. When I originally put this clock, the timers together, this came out to like over 50 minutes. So I had to trim some circuit times. You are pressing into the ground to come out of that squat. That's where that movement starts. Your feet. Good job. Three, two, one. Front row, press with that tap back. This time I'm going to tap that straight back. Straight, go straight back. Let's change this one up. Three, two, one. Press it and tap it. Create a nice line with your spine. 
Press those arms out. Whether you have a band, whether you're holding a towel, pull that towel apart if you have it. If you have a band around your wrist, that creates an amazing amount of resistance. Shoulders away from your ears. Navel to spine. Press it back. Three, two, one. Beautiful. We're going into that 90 degree hold. And then we're stepping out wide, medium now. Wipe that sweat, Susie. Wipe that sweat. Here we go. Arms up 90. Wide. Medium. Narrow. Squeeze. Other side. Keep those elbows in. Good job, good job, good job. Woo! Time. Last time through the circuit. We are going in our hammer curls, alternating hammer curls, crab walk. Oh, my band shimmy back up. Here we go. Last four moves in this circuit. Navel to spine. Shoulders down your back. Press out. Press out. Good job, good job, good job. Doesn't have to be alternating curls. You have one weight, you use go the same time. Oh, I feel my booty. Good job, keep going. Two, one. Beautiful. We are racking onto our shoulders. We are having our feet shoulder width apart. And we are going to squat, press, lift. Stabilize that body. Stabilize. You know what's stabilizing you? Your balance, your ankles, your core. Good job, everybody. Good job, Michelle. Keep going, you're under 10 seconds. Time. We got that. Press out, Press chest press out, pull back, tap it back, straight back in three. Arms at your chest. Two, one, back. Squeeze that booty. Find your neutral spine and keep those shoulders down your back. Pushing, pulling, pushing, pulling, tapping back, squeezing the butt. Good job, good job, good job. Keep going. Push and pull. Ten. You got five. Keep going. I feel like I'm moving. <laughs> Two, one. We have that 90 degree. And we're wide squatting in. Last move in this circuit. Then we're done with this circuit forever. Up here we go. Three, two, wide, medium, narrow, baby pulses in those arms. Every time you squat, the arms come up and down just a little hair. Try and stay. The the entire squat, okay, as you move that leg in. Stay low, 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 then up. Get there. Low, 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 up, squeeze it. You got this. Come on, last rep. Time. Good job, and yes, I did it. We go back on the floor for our final 10 moves. That's five moves times two. It's the same core move we did before. A hollow or shoulders on the back, that takes the hollow out. 
Did I say shoulders on the mat? Or shoulders on the back. I don't know what the heck I said. Shoulders on the mat. <laughs> okay. So we got 10 seconds. Here we go. Wide arms. You have a fly, a chest fly. Their arms are out. Let's, I'm going to do them together. Open, close. Open, close. Find your zone. Shoulders away from your ears. Slight bend in those arms. Energy out your legs. Lower back in the mat. Good job. I have to focus here. So many moving pieces. Get your mind and your muscle right now. Press that lower back into the mat. You've got 10 seconds. Three, two, one time. Relax. We have our arms straight up. So you can have a weight, you can have no weight. We are going into that bridge with our arms up and we're pressing out our knees. Right now, press open, back down. If you're holding those arms straight up, I want you pressing energy out. So you're pressing your shoulder blades down your back. Now you have energy coming out your hands. Squeeze that booty as you press those knees out against that band. Get in that lower body. Breathe. Two, one, beautiful. Turn it over into that straight leg donkey. So find your balance, find your stability. Arms are directly under shoulders, knees directly under, and then put, extend one leg. This is your position. You stay in this position and you lift. I want complete stability, so I don't, yeah, there'll be some transfer of weight, but you're, you're not leaning onto that knee side, okay? So then once you feel that stability is in check and your weight is equally distributed between the two points, then you could lift up your other arm and extend and draw back in. Neutral spine the whole time. Hips square to the ground. Not a huge leg lift. Navel to spine. Press that ground away. Time. You are switching sides. Adjust your back. Give yourself a quick cat cow. And find neutral. Separate those shoulder blades. Extend that other leg. And just start with the leg lift. Find that neutral spine. Get that stability in there. You're like, I have this. Then you pick up that other arm and you extend with or without weight. Always with stability. Oh, energy out that leg, pressing into the ground. Watch that lean, it's going to move its way in. You're not even gonna realize it. And then you go do that. Uh, uh, uh. Three, one more rep, two, one. Hi, Fox Meter. Okay, we have our high plank row tap out. Hi, baby. Here we go, hit that high plank. Hit a row, hit a row, and tap. Excuse me, buddy, tap. Again, you can go into that low plank and just tap it out. Oh, you want to play? <laughs> Keep going, you're almost there. Come here. 
Eat kookaloo. <laughs> Come here. You got three. You got two. You've got one. We go back to the top. We have that hollow hold with that chest fly. Three, two, one. I'm gonna start legs together. Open, arms closed. Isn't this fun though? It's like we open, close. Make sure you have that core engaged, pressing that lower back into the mat. Oh. Oh. Pressing out on those bands. Beautiful, Susie. Yes, Michelle. Go, Jody. Go, Allison. Go, Rebecca. Go, Jack. Go, Shana. You got five. You got three. Time. Relax. Bring those heels closer to your butt. You have your arms straight up, shoulders down your back. Press into the ground to come up. Press those knees out. Let's go. And control going down. Beautiful. When you come down, you gently place that lower back on the mat. Then you come right back up. Press those knees out at the top. Energy out through your arms. Shoulders down your back. Good job, good job, good job. Keep going. Three, two, one. Beautiful. Roll it over. We have three moves. Three moves here. Let's get ready for our donkey. Leg extension and a reach. So again, you could... That leg stays. Sometimes my body's like, what? I'll do my own thing. Thank you. Good job, good job, good job. Press that ground away. Press it away. Extend, squeeze that booty. My booty's on fire. I have my foot flexed. Lots of energy in that leg. Enable the spine. Time. Beautiful, switch it over. Square it up, four and four, four. Those are four points of contact with the ground, that's what I'm talking about. Get ready, extend that one leg. Reach out and lift that leg. If you're feeling your... Breathe. Navel to spine. The ground away. Feel that core. It is so super involved. So important to be involved. It's where everything comes from. Keep those hips from dipping. It's like you're hurt. It's like, okay. It's like where all the goodness comes from, okay? Low plank tap outs or high plank tap outs? Your call, depending on where your wrists are right now. So give yourself a row if you're in a high plank, and then you give yourself a tap, tap. Beautiful, everybody. This is your last move. And you have 20 seconds here. You got this. Man, I apologize for my noises. 
You got five seconds. Give me one more full rep. Time. Beautiful. Take that band off so we can get a beautiful stretch in. Let me make sure. Yes. 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 Let's go into child. Right. Right here. Child's, child's, child's. Put that, separate those knees. Send that booty back. Reach with your arms. Keep those shoulders away from your ear and let your head rest on the ground. Walk it over. Good job. Find it from your fingertips through your armpit, through your chest, like the side of your chest, your rib cage, down to your hips. Pressing that booty back. Walk it through. Other side. Oh gosh, press that booty back and you're going to feel more of a stretch. Breathe. Come back to center. Come into all fours. Give yourself one cat. Tuck that chin, tuck that tailbone. Press the ground away, shoulders apart. And reverse it. Press the ground away, shoulder blades come together, tailbone up, head up. Beautiful, fine, neutral. So you find that neutral spine. Curl your toes. Bring your booty up. And we are going to that down dog. Really pressing the ground away. Beautiful, come into a high plank and bring one foot forward. Again, you could drop that back knee if you want. Otherwise, I want this, should you feel this right in that hammy, right here. Good job. Bring that one hand up that's close to that front foot. Open, you should feel it in your butt. Press that front foot into the ground. Good job, bring that arm back down. Bring that elbow in to get more deeply into your hamstring. Beautiful, hand goes back on the ground. Foot comes back, switch other leg. Again, your back knee can totally be on the ground. Okay, that front foot, front hand, up, up to the ceiling. Look at that hand, pressing into the ground with both your hand and your foot. You will feel your hammy and your booty light up. Breathe. Bring that arm back down, your trunk, you're rotating your chest back to the ground. Bring that elbow as close to the ground as you can. Beautiful, hand back on the ground. Leg goes back, back into down dog. Oh, walk those feet in. Slowly roll up. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Get your posture. Get your posture for the day. Roll your shoulders back. Give yourself a big deep breath in. Fill those lungs up. Guys, thank you. <laughs> Is the moon in like retrograde? Is something in retrograde? Something happening? <laughs> Make me feel better. Rebecca, thank you as always. Thank you, my assistant. <laughs> Jody, so good to see you, Allison, Shayna, Michelle, Jen, Susie, Shayna. Happy Wednesday. Tomorrow is boot camp for the veterans. I'm like going full on boot camp. It's going to be a hard workout. Um, let's put leave it all on the floor tomorrow. Okay, bye. So love you guys.